My name's Chris Berry. I'm a rice and soybean producer in southeast Missouri and northeast Arkansas. And I was trying to find a way, a tool, that I could work this tough ground when I go from crop to crop without a high maintenance tool like a disc or turbo till. And that's why I, I kept searching and found the Butte disc to put on my Kelly tool I already had. So that way I could still take this low maintenance tool and do aggressive work with it in one trip to be able to go from my previous rice crop into my new soybean crop or vice versa in a one pass low maintenance tool. Does it look like it's uh, cutting deep all across it? Yeah. It, uh, it's getting a good bite. Just chopping a straw up, whatever straw's left, there's nothing left of it. Wherever there's thick straw, it's just shredded. The front is really churning the ground and the, and the back is uh, leveling it off good. It looks like it's uh, doing what we want it. Yeah, we'll be able to bed right behind that one pass from last year's rice ground to the better for beans. The great thing about the Butte Disc is they can be put on either a Kelly Diamond or a Humdinger. And they can be run on the front and the back or just the front if you'd like to just purchase the front. Also, you don't have to run this weight. You can, it will make it more aggressive. With the weight, it makes it right at 62 pounds per foot of, of weight to make it penetrate hard ground. Without it, it makes it down around 42 pounds per foot. And this is a six inch spacing, uh, 14 and three quarter inch blade with a 22 degree uh, concave disc. And it's um, three sixteenths thick. And it's a, it's a sharp actual blade, just like you would have on, your, on a disc. You can also just be unbolted and changed out individually. One option you could do is you could run the weighted blade in the front and you could run just the blade in the rear with less weight, kind of like a combo chain but in an aggressive way. Uh, this particular machine here is set up with the weights front and rear for uh, sizing heavy residue and uh, hard compacted soils in one trip. What's your RPM? My tractor's idled back to 1,500 RPMs and I'm burning 0.3 gallon of fuel per acre, so that's, that's like 50 cents an acre in fuel cost. And I didn't have to spend two hours greasing it this morning, greasing a whole bunch of bearings like a turbo till or a disc. Another good thing about the Butte disc on the current Diamond Harrow that you own is if you have a certain job that you prefer your links or blades that came on it, like laying rice stubble down to burn after harvest, is it's not a time consuming job to swap back. You can easily swap back to your original blades, get your burning done that you want to do, or whatever else it might be that you prefer it to be set up as. And then once that's done, you can switch back to the Butte disc for your heavy cutting or, or working in hard soil or needed to to work the ground deeper. Just like what we found it to be most beneficial for is going from our burnt rice straw, pull this one time after we burn our stubble, and then we were able to just make our beds for our soybeans in just one trip. This Butte disc uh, originated in Australia, but they are available in the U.S. now. And if you can see a benefit on your farm like I have mine, or would like more information on it, you can contact Butte Disc directly or you can contact myself.